Look around you. This reality, it's about to become optional. For years, Meta has been preparing for the moment when the line between the physical and the digital simply dissolves. And the machine built to execute that mission is closer than you think. Forget the Quest 3. Forget the Apple Vision Pro. They were just warm-ups. We are talking about Meta Quest 4, the single most anticipated and most secretly guarded piece of consumer technology in the world. What you are about to hear are not just leaks. These are industrial secrets smuggled out of the deepest labs in Menlo Park. If these specifications are true, and every indication suggests they are, welcome to my channel Tech Launch. Subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon for the new tech updates. The Quest 4 will not just be a headset, it will be your personal portal to a new dimension. Let's start with the one thing everyone hates about current VR, the resolution. Quest 3 is good, but you can still see the pixels. It's the screen door effect. Sources confirm that Meta is targeting a resolution that pushes past the human eye's ability to discern individual pixels. We're talking about dual 4K displays, potentially using micro OLED technology, pushing the combined resolution close to 8K. This means clarity so intense, you'll forget you're wearing a device. Text will be crystal clear. Distant objects will be sharp. This is the end of the screen door effect. But higher resolution needs power, and this is where the real secret weapon lies. Rumors are swirling around a custom-built, next-generation Snapdragon XR chip, codenamed Chimera. This isn't just a faster processor. It's built specifically for spatial computing. It's said to offer triple the GPU performance of the Quest 3, all while maintaining better thermal efficiency. This is the power needed for true console-quality games to run natively on the headset, unbound by a PC or a console. Imagine playing a game that looks like a PS5 title, but you are inside it, completely wirelessly. That's the promise of Chimera. Now, let's talk about Mixed Reality, MR. The Quest 3 introduced color pass-through, which was groundbreaking, but still often felt grainy and delayed. The Quest 4 is rumored to be equipped with LiDAR sensors and dedicated high-fidelity RGB cameras. Not two, but four of them. This allows for sub-millisecond latency pass-through, making your actual living room look indistinguishable from reality, but now augmented with holographic objects. Think of it. You can walk around your house with a headset on, not noticing the difference, while conducting a holographic meeting or battling virtual enemies that hide behind your real furniture. This is the point where MR stops being a gimmick and starts being reality's new overlay. And what about comfort and form factor? This has always been the Achilles heel of VR. Leaked schematics show a design that is dramatically slimmer and lighter, potentially 30% less volume than the Quest 3. But the biggest change... Motorized Interpupillary Distance, IPD, adjustment that measures your eye separation automatically. And the battery. Instead of a bulky rear pack, the power is rumored to be distributed across the band in a balanced, contour design, ensuring longer playtime without neck strain. They are trying to make the headset feel like a pair of high-tech sunglasses. But perhaps the most fascinating leak involves input. The controllers are rumored to be completely redesigned, possibly abandoning physical rings entirely for more refined haptic feedback and hand tracking so precise it can recognize the subtle tension in your fingers. Beyond that, the Quest 4 is rumored to incorporate brain-computer interface, 